my name is Andrew Wong, and I am a graduate student uh, in the Materials Science Department of Johns Hopkins University. And I'm also part of the Institute for Nanobiotechnology. My name is Peter Searson, and I'm a professor in Material Science and Engineering. Metastasis is the spread of cancer, and in fact, metastasis is what's responsible for more than 80% of cancer-related deaths. Metastasis starts with uh, a primary tumor site, and since cancer cells are constantly dividing, they are usually starved for nutrients. Blood vessels carry the nutrients throughout the body, and uh, cancer cells are going to be wanting to get at the bloodstream in order to gain those nutrients and continue to grow. The metastatic process involves cancer cells uh, detaching from a primary tumor and then migrating through the local tissue and entering either the vascular system or the lymph system. If a, a tumor cell enters the vascular system, it can circulate in the vascular system and may eventually attach to a vessel wall at some remote location in the body and eventually uh, invade the local tissue and seed a secondary site. The platform that I am making allows me to position a working blood vessel next to cancer cells. It's uh, relatively transparent. It makes it a lot easier to image through and much easier to image through than uh, body tissue like in an animal model. You can take high resolution images with a microscope in order to reconstruct what is happening within three dimensions and pretty much take a virtual tour down a blood vessel. And also since we can control the distance between uh, the blood vessel that I make and also the cancer cells, uh, we can get a better idea of the, when the cancer will invade into the blood vessels. And uh, that gives us much more predictive ability of when uh, the key events happen. We can also see how molecules are diffusing through the blood vessel and into the surrounding tissue and into the cancer cells. Uh, this will be important in order to study how drugs are delivered through the vascular system and ultimately uh, how they get to the cancer and to the tumor sites. Uh, I hope that by recreating these critical steps in the metastatic process, we can gain more insight as to how cancer spreads within the body. And hopefully this will lead to new drug therapies uh, to treat cancer and will hopefully reduce the number of cancer-related deaths.